the meaning of this? Did you call me out here to look at me as if you've not met me before? Before any agreement will make sense to some caliber of men. I mean, men that eat the best of things. There must be a build up to the agreement. Build up to what argument? And who is arguing anything with you? Amaka, you are not arguing anything with me. But you are arguing the same nonsense with us all, And I wonder, have you come to believe that you cannot survive without us all, Bialo? Eh? Do you know what it means for a maiden to waste her years with a man? And finally, the man starts behaving as if he never cared. Eh? Why must Ozobial do this to me? Why? Amaka, availability has a way it breeds insult and lack of value. Ozobial yeah? is consumed by that useless dream of his. The best thing now is to give me a break. He will come back for you. Huh? He will surely come back for you. me like that and don't twist this. It's not that bad. No, it's not. I'm not looking at you because he said you hear him sing when you're alone. I know the feeling when you want something and you can't have it. <laughs> My mother said she would kill me if I dare go back to me. But why? I don't know why. She wouldn't tell me why. But I feel as if she's hiding something very disturbing from me. Does she know how you feel about him? I guess so. But it's none of her business. It doesn't concern her. Ujumwa, your friend is suffering. I am unhappy. I've only met this man twice. and feels as if I've known him my entire life. I cannot get him out of my head. It explains why you hear him sing, even when he's not here. You know, I never knew I was going to fall like this for any man. You know me. Yes, I do. And I am telling you now that you must never give up on this man. You have to find a way to convince your mother. Listen to me, my friend. We have but a little time to spend on this earth. You must find your purpose and leave it. Thank you very much. And I am glad to have you back. You're welcome. And don't forget, we have plenty of chores waiting for us. This is the song of love. It's love has never seen. This is the song of love. This love is a mystery. What is wrong with you, Zobialo? Do not question me. What is wrong with you? Father, I do not understand why you should stop me from singing. That is trampling on my basic rights. Even slaves cannot be asked not to do that. Well, my wise son, this is my court. My sweat. He who pays the piper calls the toll. I am telling you, Osobialo, as long as you live under my shelter, you must never sing that song again. Why are you doing this to me, Father? Why have you suddenly changed towards me? Why? Everything changed the day you went to Adamori without informing me. I told you I did not know how I got there. Oh, you did not as well know when you allowed that maiden into my court. You did not as well know when you opened your mouth to tell me you are in love with her. Father, you have to believe me. I, I, I didn't know what came over me. Okay? I just want you to support me. I, I think this is divine. Divine my foot! The only thing it looks like is foolishness. Ozobialo, I forbid you 
from having anything to do with anyone from Adabooli. Why? What have they done to you, father? Leave my face. Leave my face! Some time ago, you told me to tell you how I felt about turning down suitors. I, I listened to you and I understood your point. I also opened up my heart to you to tell you how I felt about them. And you said you understood me. But I also advised you to give you some serious thoughts. Have you done that? I have no reason to do that, Mama. Because I have found someone I will marry, someone I can finally be with. That's a good news. This is the best news I've ever heard. Why didn't you tell me about this all this while? I instead of disturbing my life with this stupid news about that man from Umwezu. Eh? Mama, you haven't told me what you have against the man from Umwezu. And it worries me. Oh, please don't, don't spoil this thing for me. I, I, just forget about Umwezu or, or, or people from there or, or whatever. Who is this lucky man? Tell me, please. Ozobialo is the man from Umwezu. He's the one I want to marry and he's the man that, that will make me cut off your tongue if you ever mention his name again. Mama, please. I beg you in the name of everything we respect. I beg you in the name of the gods we worship. Please, Mama, allow me experience love. At least for once in my life. Let me be happy, please. Come on, Mama. You said you've never been happy all your life until this man surfaced. Well, you can go back to that your unhappy mood. Because I will not allow you to mess up your life with that man. Mama, at least it is my life, so allow me to mess it up. You cannot stop me. Did you just say anything? And Mama, did you just say something now? Why are the bull with your four places? Why? <laughs> Call me Obuefi. Obuefi. Call me Obuefi Obalu the Great Seer. Obuefi Obalu the Great Seer. <laughs> the one that says. What human mind cannot conceive. That is who I am. I am the one that some people neglect. Those who take me seriously have access to their future and even past. I am here because I trust you. Please, tell me the cause of this calamity and hardship that has befallen me despite my hard works. Okwo butem ogari na bonjeju tedi owesi na ya nwo. Asi ni foyo nye metal na egbu ya no. She went all the way to the sacred air of Ungunkwo to lay a curse on Umwezu. For a man of Umwezu, the flowered are in the crudest way ever. What? But Ugugwezi is a god of justice. So, he directed the cause to the offender, thereby saving the innocent people of Umuiz. You were the offender. Does this make any sense to you? Please don't do this to me. Shh. I am still a virgin. I cannot lose it this way, please be good. <laughs> the 
moment you took that maiden forcefully was the beginning of all your problems. A cause is the reason why you do not progress. The reason why you fail where others prosper. That night was a mistake. A night I will forever dread. Uh, but, Obwefi, is there no solution? I heard that any cost laid on Ugunko can never be reversed. Okobutem. Asi kadifa gema bana ewe suwa ya ndi. Hmm. Two options. Two options are available to you. Show yourself to the woman you molested. Apologize to her openly. Or cut off every association with Ada Bowele completely. That is what you will do to gain your progress. And that is what your ancestors are showing me. Of course, Azu went for the second option. He avoided everything that had to do with Adagbo Willi. He rose to become the second most influential man in Umwezu. Now that his only son has found love in the same Adagbo Willi, one can understand why Azu is bent on destroying the union before it even begins. But he knows his son and he knows that it will not be an easy one. Ozobialo, why? Why are Dabo well of all places? The same people I have lived all my life are holding. Why are you bringing this on me? Amarachi. Why are you acting like you're not interested in what I'm saying? And that is the truth. Aboma is your friend. I don't see the reason you're trying to paint her black. Since when did stating the facts become painting one black? Who's on you? I don't see the fact in what you're saying. I don't, seriously. Aboma is not the first to turn down suitors. And certainly she will not be the last. I don't even know why I'm discussing this with you. Excuse me, please. I am looking for Omimboji's compound. And you're going down this stream? Who are you and why do you seek Omimboji's compound? I am actually from Omimboji. And I am looking for a bomb now, Omimboji. I said you should go ahead. Or are you a bomb's friend? I'll take you there. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. So you say you're who again? My, my name is um, um my, my, my name is Azobia. You are Boma's son? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what's your name? Um, my name is Zomi. Show me a woman's house. Is it the place? Azobialo, I know you. Aboma has actually told me about you. How she met you. How you sang the egg wedule for her when she came to your house in Umwez. She did? Yes, she did. Then you must be her very good friend. 
Actually, I am. And that is why I'm able to tell you what I'm about to say. Okay, go ahead. Abuma does not want you. And her parents will not want you either. Going to their home will result in nothing but disaster. So I rather advise you take the shortest cut back to Mwezo. <laughs> Sorry, I... I don't understand you. Your presence in Aboma's life has caused her nothing but heartache and disunity with her parents. And that is because her mother will not allow her to marry anyone from Umezu. What are you saying? The last time a woman I met, she never in any way implied what you're just saying. Do not mention your name in this kingdom or talk of looking for a woman. Too many men will kill just to have her. Wait. Can you at least show me her house? I, I will take it up from there. I really must see her. Young man, get lost. See, we, uh, What are you doing here? Is there not a good place to wait for you? Are you not foolish? You actually sat here to wait for me. Yes, now. Anyway, why did you ask me to leave? I do not answer senseless questions. And where is the man from Umwezu? And how is that your business? Are you not taking him to Abomma's place anymore? Amarachi. Do you want me to lift your water pot or should I continue my way? If what your friend said is true, then maybe I should just wait outside here. I don't know what Uzomili told you, but I know one thing. Our people do not kill human beings, okay? Anyway, hold on here. Let me go and check if I want my son. Okay, thank you. Are you home? Amarachi, why am I never seeing you? Aboma, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I'm only trying to help. And I think I'm actually doing that. You did not leave your hut to come here for a speech, did you? No, Abom, I did not. Someone is there to see you. He could not find his way to your home. That was the reason I brought him. And um, who, who normally told him you would not like to see him? So, so I, I, I don't know. You're the only one I can see in this compound. Now, what are you talking about? Abom, I, I think you should check if he's someone you would like to let him or not. This must be a woman's mother. Compose yourself properly, Ozobialo. First meetings shall be the best. No. no. Uh -huh. What are you doing standing outside here? Uh, I, I, I came to see... Aboma does not want you. And her parents will not want you either. Going to their home will result in nothing but disaster. So I rather advise you take the shortest cut back to Mwezu. 
You are here to see who? Abomma. Um, I, I, I came with my sister Amarachi. She, she has come to see her friend. Are you confused? Uh, my, my sister Amarachi is a friend to Abomma, so she, she, she came to see her. Amarachi? No. no. Hey. Why did you keep your brother outside? Did anybody say that men are forbidden from entering our compound? Ne, not so. My brother here finds it very uncomfortable listening to Medin's gossip. Yes. <laughs> so I dumped him here. <laughs> uh, ne, uh, I want to see them off. Okay. 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 Don't worry. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Uzomili used to be my friend, but not anymore. I can understand. What kind of friend will do what she did today? I can't tell. But part of what she said is true. What part of it is true? You are happy to see me, so... About my mom. She doesn't want us to be together. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I don't know what her reasons are, but she, she doesn't even want me to mention your name. She doesn't even know me, so what's the problem? I think it has to do with where you're from. She hates Umuizu and everything that comes with it. I don't know why. My father hates Adabo with him and will not have me do anything with anyone from here. And her mother hates Umuizu as well. What is wrong? What is going on? Don't worry. Whatever anyone thinks is their business. What matters is what we feel about each other. Abuma, I will not trade her love for anything in this world. I will jump all hurdles, all obstacles just to be with you. Nobody can stop us except us. This love can move mountains. This love can heal our wounds. This love can My mother can do all she wants, but she can never take me away from this warm embrace. This is where I belong. I love you, Abuma. You are mine. You belong to me. We belong to each other. This love is a mystery. This love can move mountains. Hey! <laughs> Take it easy with this hug of yours. You want to squeeze the life out of me. Oh, my friend, how did you get this lucky? What do you mean? Ozobiel, oh by the God, he is so handsome. Keep your voice down, he's not far gone. Okay, see, he is not as sweet outside as he is inside. How do you know this? A man is known for his sweetness by the words he tells a woman. Would you know where he is dropping? Oh, just a little, my friend. I couldn't help it, I couldn't. Listen, I am convinced that this is the man you've been waiting for. I am too, but the obstacles against us are so much that I fear. I fear for us. I'm so scared. Agmama, don't talk like that. Listen, your mother loves you. And she will do anything to make you happy. She cannot continue like this if you insist that Ozo Bialu is the one that will make you happy. She won't. I think, I think his father too. If nobody comes here in a short while, I'll leave this place. I have other things to do. You know how maidens of Adabo will let her? Very reluctant. That's very bad of them. Very, very bad of them because this meeting was actually fixed three days back on. So that nobody will, will claim to have forgotten. Amarad? Is 
she not coming for the meeting? No. She's traveling to Muizu. Umuizu. Yes. Umuizu. What is she going to Muizu to do? What is she going to Muizu to do? She told me that in confidence. Uh, by the way, why did you not take that man from Umuizu to Aboma? And why did you discourage him from seeing her? And what sort of question is that? How is that your business? The good thing is that the nuisance was sent home. <laughs> well, he didn't go home. I took him to see a woman, and guess what? She was so happy to see him. What? Why are you looking surprised? I took him to see Aboma. And Aboma was very, very happy to see him. Unlike you said. Why are you looking at me like that? What is wrong with you, Zomi? She's always behaving like a sadist. As for the meetings, I don't care. I don't wanna break you. If we do, let me go. If we want you to take on the moon. Ebuani na kulundi mele mume, Ebuani na kulundi chile chichi. Oya kuna biya kiliba, eba homa ne weli ebu. Ebuani na kulundi maluchuku, Ebuani na kulundi mele mume, Ebuani na kulundi chile chichi. Ebu ani ji aboni tenun di mula wo. Ebu ani ji aboni tenun di mula wo. Ebu eju le ebu ego. Ebu ke ebu ni boni ne. Ebu ani ji aboni tenun di mula wo. Ebu ani ji aboni tenun di mula wo. Ebu ani ji apopu tenun di mele mo. Ebu ani ji tu na gabun di mele mo. Ebu ani ji du na ka no ye chile chichi. I am very disappointed in you. <laughs> Are you not a woman? Why was you crying for your fellow woman? By the way, where did you say you saw them? By the OG tree. You should go and see them yourself. You should have seen the way Ozobia holds her. Out of every association with Adabowele, completely. No, I must not be tempted to set eyes on or have any conversation with her. Amaka, why did you run back here? Why did you run back here? Amaka, you saw your man fondling another woman instead of you to go there and tear her apart. You ran back here. Why? Why, Amaka? You know, I don't think I can do this any longer. <laughs> Also, Pialo does not have feelings for me. And what's more, the maiden in question, she seems to be exactly what Ozobialo wants. And I don't want to fight anymore. What? <laughs> Amaka, you are conceding defeat even without fighting? 
Listen, Namaka. You have my support. Go back there. Let her know that Osobiel has someone already. Go! No. I may have your support, but love is a more powerful tool. Love is what I saw between them today, and I'll be so foolish to fight it. <laughs> also, Bello, he's happy with her, and I want him to be happy. I will find my own happiness someday. Maybe. One name is well on Jojo Mimi. Njo, 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 Nabwana, Bwananti. Njo, Njo. Njoy Mesilisia Gwana Madu Njo, Njo Njo do tuane maybe sino bodo If an is on we recall If an is on wa kaliana Mane well if I get so gide no wa Tell me you're not serious More than serious mama The man that Amarachi brought here the other day is the same man from Umezu the same man you forbade Aboma from seeing. Okay, he met me first, but I refused to bring him here. And then I warned him to stay away. I just found out Amarachi went behind to bring him here. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Amarachi is from this kingdom. Mm -hmm. And the man you're telling me of is from Umoezu. So how come they are siblings? Mama, Mama, they deceived you. Hey, Amarachi. Mama, this is the most heartbreaking bit, oh. Hey, deceiving an elderly woman like you. Do they want the wrath of the gods to descend on them? Hey, Amarachi. Mama, saying that that man is Amarachi's sibling was a way to trick you. Amarachi, now say. <laughs> Njo, njo na wana wana nti Njo, njo, njo na silisa wana madu Njo, njo, njo jo tuwa ne me biyo bodo What is going on here? A woman has gone beyond what I can take I am either going to kill her or disown her Njo, njo jo tuwa ne me biyo bodo what have you been telling my wife? Judy, Mimi. Njo, 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 Nabwana, Bwananti. Njo, 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 Mesilisia, Bwanamadu. Njo, 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 Tuane, maybe Sibo, Bodo. That was a very strong statement you made. If I need this, you know where it goes. If I need this, you know where it goes. My name will be Fagazo, the day in Uwa. This is the Paranaja, the Paranama. A wedding, a grief for Nana. A great in the Paranaja. Today is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> that was what you said the last time we were at my friend's house. Well, I. And that was what you said the first time we were together. Okay, I know. <laughs> Oh, my stomach. Sorry. I just wish I could just squeeze you into me. Uh, you can do that, but just keep me alive while you're doing it because if I'm dead, I cannot dissolve into you. My greatest desire is to wake up every morning with you beside me. I hope you wish so too. If I had my way, I would not return home today. I just want to be with you. You make me happy. And your presence refreshes me. It's okay. I know we'll see soon.
either obey me or you cease to be my child. How could you be this stupid and headstrong? Mother, I have done nothing wrong. I only went after my happiness. Fat your so-called happiness will take you down if you don't stop your stupidity now. Oh, Dali Igwe, then you really have to watch your words. How can you say that to your own child? This thing standing here will cease to be my child if she does not hear and now swear not to see that man again. My greatest desire is to wake up every morning with you beside me. I want my denounce that man or I will denounce you now. Mother, you raised me up to be myself. To always say my mind and how I feel about anything. I'm going to put this straight. If that man comes to ask for my hand in marriage, I will jump at the offer. What? I am disappointed in you and I will not pretend about it. I am even more disappointed in you for not giving me the required support. Aboma is only messing up because she knows you will support her. Why won't I support her when you are the person being unreasonable here? I am being unreasonable? Yes! By trying to protect my own child? Protect her? From what? She seems very comfortable with that man. Well, I'm not comfortable with him. And I will never be. Why? Maybe I will understand and give you the support you seek. If you can open up to me. And tell me why. You so much despise this man, even without meeting him, without knowing him. You've not set your eyes on him. You hated him. Odalibwe, my beautiful Odala. <laughs> Odala, you can always trust me. Hmm? Talk to me about anything. I am your husband. I came back yesterday and my brother said you came looking for me. Yes, yes, yes. With an instruction that I should come and see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it all about? When one door closes, another door, uh, sometimes even a better door will open. Can you say you don't know what that means? Listen, Okudere. I came here because of the way my brother sounded. If you have anything to tell me, please say it. Because I don't have all the time. <laughs> okay. The news has reached the palace on how you called it quit with Ozobiano. The overpapas son of Ezu. The prince is moved by that news and he has asked me to bring you to the palace. Hmm? I don't get it. I... I never had anything to do with the prince. So, why would he tell you to come and bring me? <laughs> Just... Look at yourself. Hmm? You are one of the lead beauties that we have here in Umuezu. Huh? The prince has always wanted you. But your quest... Hmm? But your quest to end up with Osobelo has kept me away. Now that you are back to where he wants you to be, can I please lead you? To the palace. <laughs> you are a very beautiful maiden. Let's go. How can you keep this from me all these years? Ha! Are we even married? Ha! How is a woman supposed to talk about that? That's a humiliating experience. 
How is she supposed to talk about it? You just did. And I can see how well you're thinking it. I'm a warrior. Of Adabowal. How could a man of Umwezo defile a maiden of this land that eventually became my wife? I cannot take it. I cannot let him go through with it. That man raped the maiden. It happened when I was only a maiden. It doesn't make any difference to me. Any man who defies a maiden of this land has resurrected the warrior in me. I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My baby, you're making me regret this. That man raped him, baby. He didn't rape your wife. <sighs> Please. <laughs> My baby, this. The only help I need from you is to help prevent our daughter from, from marrying that man from always. I cost always people. If she marries him, that cost will affect her. I, please, please protect our child. Please, support me on this. Please. To warn you, stay away from me and anything that concerns me. Did you hear me? Amoma, are you this crazy? You actually came to my court to abuse and shout at me. I never knew you were a pronounced enemy. How you managed to deceive me all these years is what I cannot tell. You're saying all this to me just because I was trying to save you. Save who? Uzami, save who? You need to save yourself before even thinking about saving anyone. Hey. And who is this one you brought along? Mm -mm. I am Ujuma. The same Ujuma that cannot tolerate your sadism. Uzami, I have had enough of your jealous interference. Jealous? Me, jealous of you. And why should I be? What is it to be jealous of any? That you're unable to make up your mind on a good suitor? Well, yes, I give it to you. I may have been unable to make up my mind about any man. But you see, I have made up my mind about someone. And if you ever get in my way, I will crush you. Read my lips. I will crush you. You know, if I were you, I would get rid of this jealousy and bottled animosity before they actually destroy you. So, if I didn't send for you, you would have slept at your friend's hut? Papa, did you not hear what Mama said to me? She said she would denounce me if I refused to denounce Ozobiala. So you decided to denounce yourself before she does, eh? I don't know why she acts as if she does not care about me. 
I don't like it. I cannot handle it. Go inside. Take your dinner. Go to bed. I will talk with you in the morning. Papa, honestly, it is Mama you need to talk to. Because if she fails to understand me, there might not be peace in this house. Go in. That you were my daughter. I know about your pain. I know about this pain you have harbored all your life. I know how you hate women. Yes, I know. But it is time to let go. Your pain cannot stop this thing. For a woman and that young man are destined to make history. Mother. Mother, was that your voice? Mother. <sighs> that was a dream. That could only happen in a dream. Contrary to what you think, a course laid on Ugunko can be reversed. Shut up. All you have to do is to take a white fowl back to the hill and ask the gods of the hill to forgive your offender. No, Mother. Mother, this is not your voice. It can't be your voice, Mother. This is not your voice. Oh. Do not call a woman any longer. For that will be going against the will of the dead. She must be allowed to recreate history with that man of woman. Mama, well done. You have succeeded in bringing Papa over to your side. Which family in Umwez is that young man from? He's from one of the noble families in Umwez. His father ranks after the king, both in wealth and status. His father is the Ezu of Umwez. Can you ask him to come over and have a talk with us? Huh? Mm -hmm. I, I can do that too. I can do that. I will, I will do that. Hey, I will do that too. Can you explain your action? Why did you speak as if you have finally given your consent? Why Mana reappeared to me last night? Father, I cannot do this alone. I need your support. And you don't have it. I will not support you to marry her. Am I clear enough? That means you do not want my happiness. That means you don't care about me. Ozobialo, if you care for me as your father, you will listen to me and reason with me. But you are being unreasonable, father. Ozobialo, do not use insulting words on me, or I will call down Amadioha to strike you dead. Is this what you have become? I do not want to talk about this again. I will go ahead and marry her anyway, with or without your support. Robert, me. Beyond the limit, I will take as your father. You also be alone. You will know why they call me the Zoo of this kingdom. How can you? How can you restrict me from being with a girl and not give me a reason? Not even. One. Go ahead and marry her. The 
the man that is standing here, Jesus of Umwe, I am a great man of this land, second in command to the king of Umwe. Who are you to stand on this path that leads to my king as you right? A man that has vowed to spend all his life covering the sin he has committed out of exuberance to not talk of Ikenga, for Ikenga is a symbol of holiness. I do not get you. What are you saying? You cannot live with the consequences of your youthful exuberance all your life, especially when it's affecting the joy of the one you love. Who are you? And what are you talking about? I am Wanye Manare, the one that sent your son to the maiden of Adabowe. The same maiden that you raped the mother years ago. What? How did you do that? She is willing to forgive you. Take a cow, go to her, and ask for forgiveness. It will end it all. The children must be allowed to create history, and nobody should stop them. This is the only opportunity to repair the errors of the past. <laughs> Should I just go in? What if his father is in? Who are you? My name is Abomma. I'm here to see Ozobial. Are you okay? I saw a man I presume is your father. Serious? Did he say anything to you? No, nothing to worry about. My mother wants to see you. I think she's going to change her mind. Why? Why what? She asked me where you're from. I told her and she said she wants to have a talk with you. Why are you excited about it? Are you not excited about it? D depends. I mean... I hope this call is for good, because I don't want trouble though. I never really thought about that, but I, I think it's for good because she says she wants to see you. Don't worry, okay? If it will be any consolation, I will be with you all through. Besides, my mother cannot harm you. So let's go. I investigated him after he molested me. And I was able to find out that he's from the same family that have caged the heart of my daughter. I am confused with a lot of things here. If the family of this man that molested you is the same family that now desires our daughter as wife, then why did you send our daughter to go and bring the young man? Have you forgotten the encounter I had with my late mother? What nonsense encounter? Ha! Me moji. Respect the dead. My mother didn't leave her resting place for nothing. Besides, I've decided to give two hand friends. No! You will not. Not as long as you live under my roof. The imbecile that had the audacity to molest a maiden of this land must experience the brutality of a warrior.
what he will do now is turn around and leave. And never get close to my daughter again. Mother, what is going on? Is this why you asked me to bring us up, Yal? I will never allow the son of a rapist to marry my daughter. If rape means nothing to you people who name ways, rape is a serious crime in Adabowale. And the warriors of this land do not tolerate rapists. How could you? How could you, Father? How could you be this inhuman and callous? Don't talk to me like that, Uncle Dano. I will talk to you anyhow I deem fit, for you deserve no respect. Not from me, not from anyone. Oh, is that so? Yes! How do I even call you my father? How can my father be this wicked and callous? To think you did that to that innocent woman and you had the guts to deny me my happiness? I do not know what those people have fed you with. Be sure you will come back to your senses. And when you do, you will regret every word you have uttered today. You cannot even deny it, for you know what you have done. It is the same reason you refused to give me your blessings to be with our man. You raped that woman in the past and she laid a curse on you. Ozebello, you have gone mad. You are a total disgrace and disappointment to me. Strangers fed you with abominable lies against your father. What did you do? Did you bother to challenge them? Did you fight for your own father? No! All you did was to come back here and abuse me. Don't deny it, Father. Deny it. Deny it is not the reason you barred me from being with her. Deny you're not the same man from Umezu. That woman placed the cross on. Deny it, Father, and I'll go right there and defend you even with the last drop of blood in me. Now get out of my sight! Oh! Leave here! You will not deny it because you know the truth. I regret coming out from your loins. Now I have the stigma of the son of a rapist hanging on my neck forever. Thank you. Njo, njo, njo do tuane may be seen obodo. If I need to know where it goes, if I need to know Akaliana, man, I will if I get so gide noa. Why were you hiding it from me? You should have told me. You should have let me know. I, want my, I had no intentions of letting you know. Why? If not that your father angrily spat it out, I wouldn't have told you. Why? Would you rather torment me by not allowing me to see Ozobial? Is without reasons. Is that is that what you want? I am a mother. And no good mother would want her child to know that about her. Besides, when the child is still truly in love with the son of the man in question. You believe me now? You believe I love Ozobial? I know. I've always known that he truly loves him. Every good mother can tell about her child, male or female. And he loves you too. I could see it in his eyes. Your grandmother appeared to me in my dream. She said a lot about you. She did? Yes. What did she say? Was she the one that taught us all the Julie? Did she send him to me? I may not be able to answer those questions. But what I can tell you is that there is still a solution if you still want to be with us all There is hope. Okay? I said you are a liar. If there is any solution you think you have, my daughter has nothing to do with that young man. Never! Nobody should dare me. A rapist must always beget a rapist. It flows in the blood. Yeah, one more. Ada Abankenke. All these years, people have been on my neck to make a choice. 
Some even called me names for not being able to make a choice of a husband. Abama, please, don't go that way. But it's the truth. They called me names. Even the one I call my friend said I'm possessed by an evil spirit, all because I failed to make a choice of a husband. Now that I have seen the one my heart beats for, forces are against us. I have a friend named EJ. She's from Anido, land of gold. She has mingled all her life with all the goldsmiths in Anido. She told me something that actually rings a bell in my head now. She said her gold is tested by fire. I understand you, my friend. But is it this type? This kind of fire? Juma is too much. It is just too much. The man molested my mother. Do you know what that means? Bad as it sounds, he did not molest your mother. She was not your mother then. He molested a maiden from Adagowil who finally became your mother. Listen, I need you to always remember that people of all walks of life do make mistakes. And this is one of them. Indeed. Mistakes. An act of wickedness is not a mistake, Ujumwa. So, are you going to give up on Ozob Yadu now because of something his father did years ago, even before he was born? Are you? If you do that, then you lied about your feelings for him. And that is not fair, my friend. That is not fair. I'm not giving up. I am not in this alone. I am not going to stop fighting, but who am I fighting with? He has not even bothered to ask of me after he learned about what his father did to my mother. What does that imply? I need you to know that he is the worst for all this. Yes, I know that. No, tell me. Put yourself in his shoes and tell me exactly what you will do in a situation like this. Abu, my friend, you need to reach out to him. And don't forget, he is not the offender. And most importantly, he loves you. To a fight or something. No, I'm, I'm okay. How are you? Not exactly. How are you? You cannot stop me. Not anymore. I have made up my mind on this meeting, and that is how it stands. Do not stand before me and speak like someone in authority. You are still my son, and that son of yours has his life to live. I am not saying you must not live your life. But you must understand something, Osobiano. Those people are evil. All they want is to destroy your relationship with me, your father. Fair enough, father. Let's assume that be the case. But the question is, why would they want to do that? You haven't even denied what you are accused of. So in essence, you are the one who is trying to destroy the so-called father-son relationship. Osobiano, all I want you to do is to stop every association with them. Cut it off. And considering what I now know about you as a rapist, you think you have the moral standing to tell me what to do? I am still your father. The Ezu of this kingdom! Oh, spare me all that rubbish! You are simply a crude molester. That is the tip of the iceberg. Of what I can do physically. If you do not come back to your senses, I can as well go spiritual. Do not say you do not know. What I can do! Poso Bial. I can't believe this. What, what happened? You got into a fight with your father. I did not fight my father. 
Just that I couldn't sit back and, and, and watch him pretend to guide me when he has no moral justification to do that. No matter what, he is still your father. My father? My father cannot be that wicked. My father cannot be that mean. He can't have such a dark past and yet pretend to, to, to be good and want to ruin my own happiness. We all make mistakes and deserve to be forgiven. Forgiveness is given to an offender who has accepted his offense. He has even accepted his mistakes. But that is who we are. That is who we are. What if the offender does not realize he has made a mistake? What if he does not ask for forgiveness? Do we now live with the burden of unforgiveness the rest of our lives? What do you want? Do you want to fight your father or fight for our love? I shouldn't be here, but I had to come it, because... It, it's okay. It's okay. I would have come early. But I didn't want you to see this. Well, I've seen it and I... kind of like you with the swollen mouth. <laughs> actually meant for me for me yes no i don't think so i think it is originally meant for the one that makes your heart beat <laughs> know it here today that my heart also beats for you thank you for everything you have been to me mm -hmm. thank you. okay let's just sit down yes. now <laughs> <laughs> i ask you again where are you coming from I was with Ujumwa. Your mother was there twice. And I'm just coming back from there. So are you going to tell me the truth now? Abuma, when did you start keeping late nights? And you now tell us lies? I went to Umwez. She went to Umwez? To do what? I was with Ozobia. Hey! You put your life at risk. Crossing that deadly boundary at this hour of the night. Because of that useless son of a rapist. Father, he's not a rapist. He's a gentleman. Please do not punish him for a crime he knows nothing about. He's his father that is the offender. I may not know much about our deities, but I know that Ngene Nebaka forbids us from punishing other people for crimes they know nothing about. Shut up! What do you know? What right have you to remind me of the rules of Ngene Nebaka? I'm sorry, Papa. I was only trying to make a point. Abuma, you got us all worried. You didn't have to come back home late. Not for anyone, and definitely not for anything. I'm sorry, my mother. I'm sorry for making you worry over nothing. I, I am home and safe. Also, Bialu is a gentleman. And he brought me home safely. What did you say? That that boy came back here after all my warnings to both of you? Aboma, you are not going to dare me. Father. If you choose to stay on the other side, then I will see you as an enemy of my happiness. Also, Bial is a gentleman. He has not done anything wrong. It is his father that is the offender. And for that, I will continue to be with him. Not while I'm still alive. I will not allow you to get that foolish. Never! Then it will happen in your absence. The most important thing is that it will happen. Good night. Abomma. Abomma! I know you're loyal to Abomma. And you cannot betray her. This thing is getting out of hand. Please, I, I need you to tell us what you know. Hey, mm, am I lying to you? I don't know where she is. I've not seen Abomma in the past two days. How would you be saying this for the past two days since we started searching for her? Eh? Hey, that's the truth now. That's all that I know. Does it look like she has gone to Mwezi to stay with us, Obiyo? 
Well, that would have been possible, but I'm not sure that Ozobi and his father will welcome Agoma. Just like you and Naomi would. It's why her son never to ever set his eyes on Agoma. What? That man is acting as if he has a lot of choices. What's that? Me, Biko. If you ask me, I think you should let Agoma be. She loves Ozobi so much. If, if, I, if I'm permitted to say, Ozobial is a very good man. He is harmless. Oh, big go. Uju, what is important is for us to find her. We can't do anything except to see her. Yes. Can you tell me where she is? We need to find her, please. Big go. I'm sorry. I can't help you. I don't know where she is. Is you go. You don't know where she is? Yes, ma'am. Men can stop all things. Women can push men into anything. But when you see love, stand aside, who can watch? Love can push down all things. This love is a mystery. Oh, this is the song of love. Love has never seen the see the song of love. This love is a mystery. This love can move mountains. This love can heal our wounds. This love can create our peace. I can no longer pretend that I am fine. For two days now, he has been nowhere around. No! I must not lose my only son. It is time. I must end it. Once and for all. You are actually the one causing this confusion in my life. She is willing to forgive you. Take a cow, go to her, and ask for forgiveness. It will end it all. The children must be allowed to create history, and nobody should stop them. I must end all this. I will not lose my son. Ujumwa, me, I am not leaving this place. Agwama, you cannot continue to remain insensitive. Insensitive? Were they being sensitive when they refused to care about how I felt? I think they do now. Really? You don't know those people? I know them. So what is your plan? To remain here forever and inconvenience an old woman? Is that it? <laughs> Ozobialo's grandmother is not complaining. She is ready to have us here till forever and a day if possible. Why are you looking at me? Is it not true? It's true. It's true. It's just that we can't be here forever, you know. Mm -hmm. Are you getting tired already? I'm not getting tired. Remember our reason for leaving home? It's to stay out a while so that they can miss us, feel our absence, and then reconsider. Two days is too short. It is too short. I will stay here until the... Until when? Until when your mother dies of heartbreak? Is that it? Eh? Mine is I don't even know what my father feels at this point. Whether he's happy I left or he's sad. I need to know his state of mind before I can go back. Ozobial, I don't know how to go about that. But I'm sure that I will find out something soon. Meanwhile, I need both of you to start getting ready to go back home. I guess you are happy now. So where is the warrior? Agwama is gone and I don't even know if she's alright. I don't see why you should be blaming me here. I'm only trying to protect her. You did the same some time before. I'm only trying to be supportive here. I already told you what my mother said in my dream. Why don't you allow me to go and do this and free our daughter? As a fool from whom was Ask for forgiveness. I don't need to wait for him to come. I don't need that. 
you want to forgive him even when he is not yet sorry? No, you don't do that. I am going to forgive him, not because of him. I will forgive him because of the harm the unforgiveness has done to me over the years. I want to set myself free. I want to set our children free. This has to be happy. I am going to Ogunko right now. I want to go and do what my mother said I should do. And please do not stop me any longer. Darling, we'll come back here. Forgiveness has a process. The rule. The sinner must first confess his sins, repent of them, before forgiving him. This man has not asked for forgiveness. Therefore, you should not forgive him. Never. Am I clear on that? No shame. You mean he actually followed me all the way from Adagoe? Eh? Everyone knows that Aboma is missing. And my instinct tells me that you, Ujunwa, knows her whereabouts. Hey. So I followed your movements. So you actually came to satisfy your curiosity. Hmm? And I'm satisfied. Satisfied wrongly. Stop wasting your time. See, see, Ujunwa. I saw everything. I saw you with Aboma and Ozobiala. And I know this is Ozobiala's maternal home. Uzo, Uzo, see. Uzo, yeah, see. No one must know about this. They don't want anybody, especially their parents, to know where they are. Oh? How could you be this heartless? Aboma's mother is dying. And she came to you to ask you the whereabouts of her daughter, and you denied it. Now you want me to keep it to myself. Mm -mm. I am going to spill. I am going to tell her everything. I know how hard it is for you to be loyal. But let me tell you something. I think this is an opportunity for you to make up for all the wrongs you've done to Aboma. Or don't you think so? You actually have a point. Exactly. So, how can I be of help? There's actually something you can do. Come. That maiden you talk about. I did not get her name, but she says she's with Adaboe. And she knows the whereabouts of my son? Yes, she said Ozabe has vowed never to come back and she said a word to him and bless his marriage with the maiden from Adaboe. Come. How authentic is this message? The maiden sounded so convincing. I think it's Ozabe that sent her. Well, if that is the way it should go, then it is time to act. How do you reach her? Come, how do you reach her? She says she will come back tomorrow for feedback. Well then, let her tell my son that I missed him. And I will do anything to bring him back. Let her tell him that I will give my blessings for him to marry any woman he wishes to.
I hope I'm doing the right thing. Mother, if you actually appeared to me in my dream, then protect me on this journey. All I want to do is to free my heart and see my daughter happy. Uh, Uju, you know where my daughter is. I am certain about that. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. You don't have to continue lying to me. You can as well keep quiet. Okay? You see this virgin coke? Is a solution to all the problems, to all the obstacles stopping us all and our man. Yes, I am going to move up with this. And once I get to the place, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. I will be on my way now. Please tell our man to come back. As soon as she comes back, everything will be settled. Mm -hmm. Oh? Ne, okay. by that you mean Aboma can marry us all? Would you know the answer to that question? Just stop swearing. Stop swearing. At least I don't want you dead yet. I swear again, I did not tell anyone at Woma's whereabouts. I haven't even seen Odaliwe since the last time I saw you. Uchuma. Uchuma, don't you trust me? As if it is easy to trust you. Anyway, that's by the way. Your trip to Umwezu, how was it? <laughs> I was on my way to your hut before you came. I met the lady and she gave me the message from Ozobialo's father. Tell me, is it a good one? <laughs> positive. Very, very positive. He said he could kill just to see his son happy. Kill? You say it's a good message. What is positive about killing? Uh, um, um, no, 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 no. Not that type of killing. Oh, he, he, he said he's ready to give his blessings to him and the bomber. Yes, <laughs> it worked. Yes. <laughs> I must see a bomber and a zobialu right now. Uh, uh, can, can I come with you? Not yet. I thought I had already paid the price. I thought I had already paid the price. It's not fair. On this very hill, that woman laid a silly course on me. And on this same hill, I will bring to an end those that want to take my son away from me. The forces of Ugunkwa that made Ugunkwa the most sacred hill in this part of Igbo land. Strike them. Strike them. Strike them forever and bring back my son. Strike them. Strike them. Tonight, I will send my Okwodo. I need you to join forces with it and end Odaliwe and her daughter Boma and bring back my son. Ezu, is this the forgiveness that my mother said that you come to ask for?
Where have you been? Where I have been is not important, Papa. Really? Where are you coming from? Mama. Hey. Eh? Mama. What is wrong? Went to Ugunko. After I made it clear that you should not go there. That is good. How dare you undermine women with your father, Bowele? I had to do what I had to do. Uh, that was the only option left for me. How was I supposed to know that Ezu was planning a, a, another evil against me? I decided to let the first one slide back because then I had not married you. But now I'm going to place him where he belongs. Don't do anything to him. Please, let the girls fight for us, Biko. I am a warrior of Adabowe. I'm going to start this war. Let the girls tell me later. How did that fool attempt to kill my daughter and my wife? Eh? I'm going to pay him a visit. I'll pay him a visit. Mama, are you sure of this? Or is this a trick to bring me home and to convince me more not to marry us of them? Mama, are you not going to stop him? No, I can't. He has his gun. Mama, he's wearing all, all the war charms of warriors of this line. I can't stop him. It will be a sacrilege even for me to attempt to talk to him. Hey! You did your part, my child. You made me happy. And I am impressed. Leave the offender to face his wounds. That's the voice of my mother. Yes. She, she's no longer angry with me. What did she say? <laughs> Mokodu, you told me it's no longer a method, but a charm that can cut anybody no matter where they are. What are you doing with it? You have no right to ask me anything, for you are a disobedient child. So what do you want to do, father, to kill me? You want to kill me with Okodu because I fell in love with the maiden from Adabowele? Go ahead, father. Go ahead and kill me, father. 
I would leave her. I would rather die by my father's hand than leave that maiden. Because I cannot imagine or experience a life without her. I am not a fool to kill my only son, my only child, and become childless. I will send my Okodo to cut that woman that has come to steal my son. The madness in his eyes will clear when those fools are gone. What? She is willing to forgive you. Take a cow to her and ask her for forgiveness. That will end everything. These children must be allowed to create history. Nobody can stop them. This is your only opportunity to repair the errors of your past. Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth, you lousy woman of Adaboweri! Who are you? Who are you to advise me to take a cow to a woman? I am the Ezu of Umwezu. I will end it my way. What are you doing? Are you losing your mind? Why are you talking to the air? It is now or never. You have done it before. You can do it again. Call the gates of brass and bars of iron and destroy the women that are planning to destroy me by destroying my son. to Daligwe and her daughter. Tell them I regret my actions. I wish I've done the right thing. Father, uh, were they the ones you planned to send the sword that came back to you too? Maria Boma, you should make you happy. I'll give you my blessings. Don't you know that it's evil to bury a honorable man in a dishonorable way? Eh? What kind of order, order, order burial is that? Yes, sir. No masquerade, not even gunshot. What kind of useless urgent burial is that? You see me, yes, sir. Listen, you are wrong to say that he died. Ezu did not die, for he was killed by our ancestors. For indeed, he was an evil man. What are you saying? Confirm to you that your sense have traveled. I am talking about our own Ezu. Ezu of Umezu. The second in command to the king. And why are you calling him an evil man? Uh, listen to body. There are too many things that you don't know about our tradition. Because you have not been mingling with the elders in council. Uh, 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 okay. Are you now one of the elders? And what are those things you believe you know in this small head that I don't know? Hey, hey, hey. If you want to talk to me, you talk to me with, with respect. What's wrong with you? Yeah? We can tolerate all things here in Umuizu. But what we can never tolerate is charms. A man that was killed by his own charm must be buried immediately. So that his evil charms will not spread in the land. Do you want to die? Oh! Are you now telling me that our own Ezu died by his own charms? 
right before that is of a bad idiot, Ozo Bialo. Well, the time he wanted to set, send to some innocent people in Adabo Wale, return back immediately and get him, and immediately we buried him. Eh? Uh, uh, in that case, you people did well. Oh, hi. Uh, come, let me go and give you a drink. Eh? Let's go. Let's get that uh, 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 to, to. I am all, I am all. To, to, to. Not for one day. Amoma, his father died as a result of an attempt to kill us. And you still want to marry him? Mother, Osobial is not his father. He's different from his father. We cannot continue to undermine Ngenen Nebaka by making endless efforts to punish Osobial for his father's sins. It is wrong and we all know that. He apologized before he died. That happened before me, like I told you already. That alone made me forgive him. Am I wearing the wrong attire? No. But you are the wrong place. Who invited you? Really? After all my input. Imputes? You mean your failed imputes at tearing Ozobial and I apart? Is that it? Ujumwa, did you take the credit? Well, I forgot to tell her. Agbomma, Uzomili offered to help. She did that to right the wrongs she did to you. She was actually the one who went to Muizu to talk to Ozobialo's father. And it was a risky one at that. But anything to get your forgiveness. And I hope I have it now. This is the song of love. It's love has never seen. This is the song of love. <laughs> so. Where can I be of help? This love can move.
I want my daughter. I'm joining you in marriage today to the man of your dreams. That is not why I am excited. I am excited because your marriage is a mystery. The ancestors of our land have through one in Manari decided to bring back what was lost. Today, Egwejile has reincarnated in you. And I pray that you will rise to be above all women that ever performed the wager. Can you go back to 
Ego 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 